Welcome back. We are here looking at the energy market. This is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, in July 12th, 2022. If you like support channel, you're going to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button at the bottom button to see our newest videos and all my trades and my portfolio are available in the link down below. So let's start by looking at the WTI oil. And as you can see, we did fall all the way down towards roughly uh, 101 point a barrel and ended up at 103.5 dollars a barrel so we did drop but turned around we're still in the red but but uh, this was fairly a significant rally at the end of the base the session if you look at technical indicators we can see the macd is um, bearish stochastic is, be is becoming bearish and the rsi is bearish as well so this trend has clearly been broken uh, we did get very close to the 200 moving average went all the way down to $95 a barrel and uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw a retest of that and probably broke even lower so the main reason for the drop today was that China is going back into lockdown or that is what what seems to be and of course if nobody's working then the factories not open and then demand for oil will be significantly less so so of course there will be demand destruction and uh, therefore the price will also drop but it also looks like that we are creating a channel here and that we are fairly uh, at the top of this channel and we may uh, see something similar to this dropping back down towards the 200 moving average so if we were to drop below the 200 moving average, we could look at the Fibonacci retracements for uh, this market. And we can see that we are around $96.77 uh, a barrel. That's where we found uh, support uh, the last time. And dropping below the 200, and then we have the 61.8 at $88 a barrel. Forecasts from uh, major banks, um, is that we may drop all the way down towards um, uh, towards uh, sixty five dollars a barrel? That is where we were prior to the massive drop here uh, in two thousand and twenty. But that is to be seen. Two hundred moving average should offer significant support and breaking below that. Well, then we'll see where see what happens. To uh, natural gas, we can see that. 200 moving average off has offered um, support. We have tested it several times here, build a base, and now it looks like we are heading back to the upside. Question is how far we may go. If we look at Fibonacci retracements for this, we can see that we have broken through the first barrier here. Second is here at the 38.2, that is 6.9. Dollars fifty is at the seven point five dollars and the sixty one point eight is at eight dollars. We have the twenty simple moving average right here. We have broken uh, through that. We have the fifty moving average moving in this direction, and that should kind of be a barrier for this market. I would not be surprised if we saw something similar to this and then break down. If we rally above here, then we may see a V shaped recovery and then this market going significantly higher. So Europe is definitely uh, starving out of uh, natural gas as it is fairly likely at this point that Russia will cut off all supply of uh, natural gas to the European market. And that's probably what we're seeing here with this rally that expectations for in the long term is that Europe will buy much more um, natural gas from the United States and therefore demand for uh, LNG will be significantly higher if and, and therefore prices will go up. That's definitely what made most of this move here before we just fell off a cliff. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD has crossed the signal line, so indicating bullish momentum. Stochastic is very bullish as well, and the RSI is also bullish, and we're only at 47, so there's a lot of room to the upside. So a move up towards this play at uh, 50 moving average, uh, that could uh, kind of looks probable at this point, but 
we'll see. So, hope you find this helpful. You want to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button, and developing the CR news videos, and all my trades and all my portfolio are available in the link down below. Good luck and thank you very much.